Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about one of the most important concept differences between C and C++ languages. It is the most widely asked question in campus interviews so that please listen carefully. Now, the first difference is C language is based on BCPL and B language. That means C language comes from two languages. First one is BCPL that means basic combined programming language and another one is B language. From that two languages C language was developed. Whereas C++ language comes from the C language only. Next, second point, C language is a processor oriented language. Okay, so we know that every C program can be written by using functions. A function can also be called as procedure, but procedure does not return value but function can return value. Okay, we can say that C language is a procedure oriented language whereas C++ is an object oriented language. Okay, object oriented languages examples are C++, Java and Python. So these three are called as object oriented programming languages. Among them, Java is an pure object oriented programming language. Next, third point, it C language uses top down approach. Suppose we have to solve a problem. To solve that problem, C language uses top down approach, whereas C language uses bottom-up approach to solve any problem. Next, fourth point, C language contains only 32 keywords. A keyword is a special reserved word that is used for a particular purpose. In the case of C++, it contains approximately 16 keywords. Next one, C language generates .exe file and .bak files. That means .exe files stands for executable files, .bak files stands for backup files. So C language generates .exe and .bak files, whereas C++ language generates only executable files. That is .exe files. Next one, C language does not support constructor and destructor, whereas C++ language supports both concepts constructor and destructor. So constructor is used for initializing an object. Destructor is used for destructing whatever the object that we are created. Next one, C language does not support exception handling mechanism, whereas C++ language supports exception handling mechanism by using try and catch keywords. Exception is exception is also like a error to support that errors C++ uses one concept that concept called as exception handling okay for example array index out of bounds exception division by zero exception so these are some examples for exceptions so exception handling is supported by C++ language Whereas C language does not support exception handling mechanism. Next one, C language 
does not support overloading concept okay whereas in the case of c++ language it supports both overloading and operate method of overloading and operator overloading concept overloading means same method name but with the different parameters okay that means same method can be used for different parameters then it can be called as overloading what is operator overloading means one operator can be used for different purposes okay so that is called as operator overloading okay so here c++ supports both method of overloading and operator overloading but c does not support method of overloading and operator overloading next we can go for ninth point next point is c language uses mlloc function cloc function realloc function and free functions to manage the memory these functions are called as dynamic memory allocation functions to allocate the memory at the run time we are using these four functions mlloc cloc realloc and free functions whereas in the case of c++ it uses new and delete operators to manage the memory okay next one it is widely used to c language is widely used to develop drivers and operating systems okay so we can use uh, some drivers okay to develop that drivers and to develop operating systems we have to use c language whereas c++ language is used for developing system programming so in to develop system programming we have to use language called c++ language okay next one c language was developed by dennis m rich dennis m rich so he can also called as the father of c language so father of c language is dennis m rich whereas c++ language is developed by bizrain stroustrup so father of c++ language is bizrain stroustrup next one c language is a subset of c++ language okay so we are adding some extra features in c++ language that are not present in c language hence we can say that c language is a subset of c++ language next c++ language is a superset of c language for c language what is the superset c++ language for c++ language what is the subset c language next one c language uses a header file called stdio.h that means standard input output header file whereas c++ language uses a header file called iostream.h input output stream dot h this header file is used by c++ language next one in c language to perform the input output operations that is reading the input from the keyboard and writing the output on the monitor we have to use two functions one is a scanf function and second one is printf function so scanf function is called as standard input function printf function can be called as standard output function by using scanf function we are reading the input from the keyboard by using printf function we are displaying the output on the monitor whereas in the case of c++ we have to use cin and cout cin called as a standard input and cout is called as a standard output so these two 
are called as input output operations in C++ language. So to perform the input output operations in C++ language, we have to use C in and C out. Next one is namespace feature is not allowed in C language. So namespace feature is nothing but it groups the classes, objects, functions under a single name. Whatever the classes and whatever the objects and whatever the functions, whatever the methods we are used that are grouped together under a single name. So that is called as namespace. Namespace feature is not available in C language but whereas in the case of C++ language, namespace feature is allowed to avoid the name collisions. Okay. So these are the 15 differences between C language and C++ language. So please observe carefully uh, for better understanding. It is one of the most widely asked questions in interviews. Okay. So thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. Please give me suggestions to improve my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you one and all. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divvela Srinivasarao. Please forward my videos to your friends and classmates. And please give me your valuable suggestions to improve my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you one and all.